I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little scared. The reason why is because we're going to a place that no man has ever gone before, Google. Well, that's not true because they have 250 billion searches per month, but the dark side of Google, the things that nobody should ever Google. And YouTube, if you happen to be watching this, don't worry, I took care of all the blurring, all that good stuff. This is purely educational. And for you guys watching, consider this your last chance to leave because this may scar you forever. Not really, but let's do this. All right, so the first thing that we're looking up today is the Huntsman spider, which is apparently the biggest spider to ever exist. So a lot of people have arachnophobia. It's one of the biggest phobias across the world, and we're going to look at the biggest spider. Of course, for this video, I'm going to be doing all of my searches in incognito mode because can't get caught lacking on the main, and I don't know what lies ahead of me, quite frankly. So your guess is as good as mine. All right, so here's the Huntsman spider. I think he's a cute little fella. I mean, does this really ruffle anybody's feathers? Is anybody's stomach dropping over seeing a Huntsman spider? I mean, that's ridiculous. Australian man, of course, is in Australia. If I saw this spider, like, what would I actually do? Because that's about yay big, the size of a small dog. I imagine you just have to burn the house down, right? Like, how do you actually get that out of there? That thing's massive. You can't, like, put it in a cup. You need, like, a massive pan just to trap it. Who knows how strong they are? Look at this one in the corner. Jesus. You know what? But I bet you they're very friendly. Uh, okay. See, they're venomous, but not harmful to people. So even when bitten, most people simply experience a small amount of pain. So you know what? They might be some nice little fellas. All right, so this next video is actually on YouTube and it's a bot fly maggot removal. And it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a video of somebody removing a maggot from their arm. If you have a weak stomach, you may want to shy away from this one. I so grim. This is something you won't see every day. Ooh, yeah, there it is. Oh, that's got to feel so good though coming out. Not for the maggot, but for the person. Just have that in there though. Oh, how big is that? Let's see how big this Gets. Wow, I thought maggots were small. Oh Ooh. My God. Yep, there they go, pulling his friend. And I pray that this is the last one. If there's anything else after this, I can't even look. All right, so that was a baby Ouch. one. That looks to be the, oh my, she's, it's everywhere. This poor, oh, it's on her arm. Why did I think it was the leg? How do you even realize that you have maggots in your body? Some other insect related material that you should definitely not Google, mouth larva, which is basically just larva inside people's mouths and it just shows people removing it. So it's very similar to the video we just watched, but it's a little bit more graphic, so we won't be showing that. And then also jiggers, which is just these really disgusting feet that have small insects that have infiltrated black holes into their feet. I know it sounds crazy. Look it up at your own discretion, not on my watch. So something you are able to look up is pressure pressure cooker recipes, which of course, if you have a pressure cooker and you want to come up with some new recipes, totally fine. Something you can't look up is pressure cooker B-O-M-B-S, because that implies that you're trying to build something. You also shouldn't be looking up uranium B-O-M-B, because both of these things will probably have you reported to the FBI. So I, I highly advise against doing that, but if you want to make something nice in like an instant pot or a pressure cooker, by all means. Now, what I am going to look up is pressure cooker explosion. And the reason I'm looking this up is purely because I want to educate myself on how to properly use a pressure cooker. However, if you search far and wide enough on here, you will be finding some websites that, let's just say, I probably can't show on this website. So next up, we have something that you've probably looked up in the past multiple times. I think we all have, and that is your symptoms. But according to the CDC, this is the number one search that leads to anxiety in young people. So in other words, you probably shouldn't be doing this. Why do people do it? I guess it gives them comfort to know that they don't have something, but what it ends up doing is like affirming these other diseases. So you think you have a headache, so you look up like, oh, brain swelling, then you think you have cancer. So don't do these things. The one website in particular is medicinenet.com. And here is an article right here that says symptoms of 12 serious diseases and health problems. So for instance, 15 signs and symptoms of a heart attack, unusual fatigue. So people will be like, oh, I'm so lazy today. I'm having a heart attack or lightheadedness. They're like, oh, I didn't drink enough water. I'm having a heart attack. And they have this for literally every single disease. So I probably wouldn't look this up because you're probably going to hate yourself. The next thing you should never Google is calculus, bridge. So definitely look up calculus if you need help with your math homework, but do not type the word bridge after calculus. I really can't look it up. It's pretty disgusting, but it's effectively these disgusting teeth that have this like brown and moldy thing to them. Just stay away from it. I promise you're going to be better off without it. So don't look up calculus bridge. All right. So next up, we are looking up the Russian sleep experiment, which a lot of people have said not to look up. Um, I'm actually aware of this already, but if you guys aren't, it's going to be pretty creepy. So tells the tale of five test subjects being 
being exposed to an experimental sleep inhibiting stimulant in a Soviet era scientific experiment, which has become the basis of an urban legend. So basically, uh, we don't know if this is real or not, but they effectively kept people awake for, I don't know how long, I think it was days, like 10 days. And basically people ended up just going absolutely crazy. There's even some really cool documentaries and some mock video of the Russian sleep experiment, which we are going to be clicking into now. And you'll see this is what people ended up looking like after three days. So do not look up anything deeper than what I just showed you on the Russian sleep experiment. I mean, you'll see there's a reason why all of this is blurred. And it's not because there's naked people on the screen. It's because it is violent. It is nasty. And it is something that you should never be subjected to. So this is the last time RSE should ever be on your screen. All right. So next up, something that nobody should ever look up, but we're going to look it up because I think this is actually pretty cool, is dog head transplant. It's exactly what it sounds like. A Soviet scientist slash doctor literally put a head of another dog on another dog. So it's like a conjoined dog. You ever see a conjoined twin, right? Cute, cool. What about two dogs? It's like cat dog, but it's like dog dog. And there's a couple of them, I think. Like, look at this one right here. But here's a colorized photo of the two dogs coexisting. I don't know how they did it. I don't know what exactly happened with this, but it looks to be successful. So next up, we have something that you probably wouldn't think is super scary until you see it. And that is a wet koala. So as you can see, a wet koala is absolutely scary. Every single ounce of it just looks very unnerving for some reason. And it doesn't stop at koalas. Like, you'll see a wet owl right here that I think is equal scary. And what's even scarier than that is a large sloth. Like, look at this massive sloth. Imagine they were this size just coming at you. That's not a world I want to live in. I also don't want to live in a world with wet koalas. Koalas also carry chlamydia, and apparently they're, like, very dangerous to bamboo forests. So koalas may not be as cute as you think. So if you're Australian watching this, do us a favor and adopt them, because we don't want them in the wild, of course. All right, so next up, nobody should ever be looking up Ed Gein. I hate that I even have to show his name, because this guy is the scum of the earth. He is the worst person of all time. He's also called the Butcher of Plainfield. Let's take a look at what he did. All right, so what he did, there was a woman named Bernice Warden, and they were together, and she was fatally shot and decapitated, and subsequent examinations of his home showed that he had systematically robbed graves and collected body parts, which he used to make household items. This guy was a grave robber who not only killed and decapitated people, but also went into people's graves and then used their things as like a lamp. So he used like a leg lamp, like from a Christmas story. He had that IRL. So terrible guy. Uh, also discovered was the head of Mary Hogan, so a tavern operator. So this guy was just the worst. Uh, and they ended up destroying things with fire, admitted to killing the two women, of course, and they both resembled his mother. So he had mommy problems, ended up taking it out on other people. Obviously a terrible guy, found guilty, la la la. And he was admitted to a mental hospital, but probably should have been worse. All right. So they say, don't look up Jeff the killer. Of course, we're looking up Jeff the killer. It's a creepy pasta. Uh, okay. That's Jeff the killer. All right. A little bit scary. Also not really that scary. Uh, Jeff the killer is just basically a 13 year old boy who became insane and then he was murderous, dangerous, and merciless and he just became a serial killer. So that's him. He has a lot of aliases. Joker reject. That seems like, you know, that's a shot to the heart for this guy. But that's him and his quote, go to sleep, his most famous quote. So obviously this isn't real. However, there's some images to suggest, there it is right here, that maybe he is real. You know, maybe this isn't the worst guy in the world. So this guy is, uh, I don't know, he's just, he's a, a dwarf who was murderous. Obviously, don't look him up. He'll give you nightmares. I do like the memes, though. Brian Pepper memes, Brian Pepper. Let's see what's going on with Brian Pepper. Is this a real one? Okay, so this is actually a, a real photo taken of Brian Peppers, who was a registered vendor in Ohio. I haven't seen this photo in a long time, but this is him. Why is everything weird in Ohio? Like, I know it's the meme, but it, it feels to be true. All right, so next up, we have something that you shouldn't look up. I don't know why. I think it's a miracle whenever a baby is born, but that is real life Cyclops. So we have a baby born with one eye because the mother was exposed to mercury during her pregnancy. And you have a baby that, as you can see, looks like a Cyclops. Uh, and, you know, at the end of the day, like the baby will never know anything differently. So, so long as the baby is raised in a manner that, you know, is is kind to it, I think the baby will end up fine. But that's the baby. And it has, I think it's called Cyclopia. Definitely didn't make that up. All right. So another thing you should never look up is Death Clock. I've looked this up in the past. I forget when it said I was going to die. I think it was like 2054. So we're chilling for 30 years, which means you'll get, I don't know, like 10,000 more videos from me. So we're all chilling. Subscribe if you haven't already. Yada, yada, yada. 41 million people though have apparently done this. So you might as well just have fun with it. Let's see if my Death Clock has changed since then though. All right. So my birthday is June 14th. Can't tell you the year. Sex. Yes. Male. Do you smoke? 
No, BMI. You know what? It's right around 25, but let's go less than 25 because they want me to state that I'm obese, which I'm not. Alcohol consumption, eh, once a month. Country, USA. Include fitness diet? Yes, fitness. Very active. Diet, good. Submit. Let's go. Nobody's beating this. Nobody's beating this. 107 years, three months, and 18 days. If you are going to live longer than me, let me know. Because then we can buddy up and we can be part of the Centenarian Club. I think that's the American Express Black Card Club. But you know what I'm trying to say. The Centarian Club. The ones who actually are going to be progressing society into the 2100s. That's me. I'm making it there. Mr. Three Century, 1990s, 2000s, 2100s. You call me, it's called the trifecta, baby. The next thing that you should never look up is the dark web. If you don't know what the dark web, the deep net, the deep web, all these things are, it's basically a derivative of the World Wide Web that you can go on where you can effectively just like torrent things, you could sell body parts, you could buy illegal drugs you could get a lot of bad things. Don't go on here. You are able to go on here. You just, all you need to do is just acquire a VPN and then you just have to do something. I don't know. I'm not like a hacker or somebody like that. But yeah, I'm actually gonna, I think, make a video in the future titled, I visited the dark web, but I just have to figure out how I can do it without violating TOS on YouTube. So maybe that video will never come out, but just know that I thought about it. Next up, you should never Google, when will the sun explode? Because again, this gives people a lot of anxiety, but I don't know why. So the hydrogen runs out. There's gonna be a period of two to three billion years where the sun will go through phases of star death. So it's not going to happen to you, your children, your children's great, great, great times a Google, uh, that might be too much, times a hundred thousand generations below that. So I don't know why people are getting anxiety over this. All right. So the next thing you should never look up is the nutty putty tragedy. Basically what had happened here is there was a cave exploration guy and he was going through this one area of the cave that he thought was something else. And it ended up being this area that he got stuck and he ended up passing away. So as you can see in Utah, the Nutty Putty Cave, there she is. And he thought he was going to the birth canal. The birth canal, as the name suggests, is a very tight, I don't know why people go through this, a very tight passageway that is about, do this. That's what you're doing here. And he thought he was here. So here's CBG, somebody who did survive this and they posted it to YouTube. And you had somebody else who ended up going in something similar to this. So this is now the graphic in which people operate off of to understand how this man passed away. And you know, if you're claustrophobic, I'm sure this is going to get to you. The tightest space I've ever been uh, was in the pyramids of Giza. I was in the large pyramid and there was a passageway that was definitely much bigger than this. But this is just a whole nother level. And so basically, I don't want to spoil anything, but I'll also spoil something here. This guy ended up getting stuck in a position like such. So he was literally stuck upside down. And then after 27 hours, he entered cardiac arrest because there was too much pressure on his body. And then he unfortunately passed away. So if you have claustrophobia, do not look up cavers getting trapped because it could definitely trigger something, I suppose. All right. So another thing you should never look up is eyeball tattoo. So instead of wearing, I guess, uh, contacts, people just do that to their eyeballs. That's kind of crazy. That surely can't be good. You may think it looks cool, but don't be fooled by these MGK looking people. It's, it's not something that I'd recommend doing. See, like scleral tattooing, just don't do it. You know, if you want to get a normal tattoo, fine. Why would you tattoo your organ? Think about it. That can't be good. Mixing blood and ink. That can't be good. That's just my two cents. But don't look it up because one, you might think it's gross and two, you might get into it. So let's not even look it up. All right. So the next thing you should never look up is ballerina toes. So ballerinas underneath those beautiful shoes. What are they called? You know what I'm talking about under the da da da. I gotta look this up. Ballerina shoes are called ballet shoes. Wow, am I really that dumb? However, underneath that is just a bunch of just broken. I mean, this is kind of, you know what? This is kind of gross, I suppose, but all it takes is a pedicure and like a day of healing and the feet are fine again. Also like there's a lot of jobs in which the feet get broken like that. Have you ever seen a construction worker who's dropped something on his foot? We won't be looking that up, but may want to Google that or you probably don't want to Google that. What happens when you die? Your brain stops. Other other vital organs, including your kidneys and liver, stop. All your body systems powered by these organs shut down too, so that they're no longer capable of carrying on the ongoing processes understood as simply living. Death itself is a process, which means that each and every one of us, me, you, you, I'm pointing in like a, a Z axis to like the other person watching, we're all dying. We're living, but we're simultaneously dying because nobody's ever lived forever, which implies that we're in the process of dying. That may be scary to you, or it may be great if you're religious and you think that you're trending towards something 
great like heaven. Regardless, it's scary. Don't look it up. All right, so I'm not sure why they said not to look this up because I think it looks pretty cool, but this is a mountain chicken, which is a type of frog. People are like, oh, don't look this up. Don't look this up. Why? You can even eat them. Look, mountain chicken recipe. Looks pretty good. Looks like buffalo wings, only it's frog legs. So they said, don't look this up. I don't know why. Maybe because they have these long tails and they make you think that they're like these dinosaurs, but they're cute big fellas. I love me a good frog. All right, so next up, we were looking up Snape wives. So if you guys watched Harry Potter, apparently there's a coalition of people who genuinely believe that they're married to Snape, who is Alan Rickman in real life. I don't know like why this is something that's like can't be Googled. I guess it's just, oh, there's an actual religion centering around seven Severus Snape, who is portrayed as an eternal and divine being similar to the Christian God. It had theological arguments, early schisms, and its own vows and prayers. I mean, I'm as big of a Snape fan as the next person, but I couldn't imagine... Okay, well, these people, see? They subscribe to the Snape religion. Maybe I shouldn't be Googling this because it basically proves that there's traffic going to their website and it just gives them, like, more reinforcement in their ideas. So I think I'm gonna get off of this real quick. All right, so Unit 731. Uh, this was responsible for some of the most notorious war crimes ever committed by the Japanese armed forces. Not that we're going to look at things specifically in the unit that took place, but the actual unit itself we could look up. I suppose that's fair game. And what we find here is some very pixelated photos that show generally what things are looking like. Uh, there's some biological warfare experiments. If you've ever seen the anime Monster, then you probably know similar things which probably went on here. Yeah, so just not good stuff. I think um, they have museums that are now dedicated to the victims. This one shows explicit content. So if you look this up and you get too deep into the lore, you're probably Probably gonna find some things you don't want to see. It's like looking up like Bin Laden's head, which is, you know, obviously also something you shouldn't look up. Another animal that you probably don't want to see is the Amazonian giant centipede. So don't look this up and definitely don't look up videos because a centipede is like a spider and a snake combined, which happen to be the two worst fears of any animals for any people. So you combine them, you get the Scolopendra gigante. The fact that it's called the gigante is probably not a good sign. You can see it's much bigger than a pencil. I mean, these things, they hunt bats. That's what these things do. There it is, taking down a literal snake. They're like just massive cockroaches. They are some big fellas. I would rather see the huntsman spider than this centipede. <laughs> All right, one thing you should not Google is pillows under a microscope because you sleep on these pillows every single night. So now people are going to have a lot of anxieties around it. I don't care. So there's a tardigrade. All these very, very, very small bugs bed bugs that live on your pillow, they look exactly like this. So when you look deeply into a pillow, you're unfortunately going to find a lot of these animals there. Dust mites. You can't get rid of them either. So I hope you're okay. Every time you put your head on the pillow, these guys are scratching at your hair. They're doing a lot of different things. And there they are up close. Dust mites inside the pillows. They look exactly like that. Every single pillow has that on it. Sorry. All right. So next up is the real exorcism of Emily Rose. So this is Annalise Michelle. That's what she looks like. Normal. Okay. Normal person. Now we can finally hear the voices of all six demons that possessed Annalise. <laughs> I don't know how they captured audio of this. Uh, of course, there was a movie that came out of it called uh, The Exorcism of Emily Rose. I don't know if it's based on a true story, loosely based on the book, which tells the story of somebody who apparently was actual. So she did go through Catholic exorcism rites during the year before her death. She died of malnutrition, okay, because, okay, her parents were convicted of that. All right, so she had a horrible psychosis. So, I mean, yeah, just don't look too much into this. This stuff's not good for you. Let's, let's move on. All right, next up, what you should never look up is a cutaneous horn, but I think this is one of the coolest things ever. It's a horn that comes out of your body. So it's basically like a bone that protrudes out. And what you end up getting is like, you have like a tail. You ever see the movie Shallow Howl? And at the end, Jason Alexander has like that little tail. This reminds me of that. I'm sure it's like incredibly painful and such, but I think it looks pretty pretty cool. So it's just a, it's just a little horn coming out of some place on your body. Looks like usually the face. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I don't know the procedure. I don't think that it's like super deadly. I'm assuming this is something that modern science could like just cut out, but don't look it up because you're probably going to go down a rabbit hole of like, Oh, they're like growing horns. They're satanic, etc., etc. A lot of people say, don't look up the humpback angler fish because it's the ugliest fish in the world. But I beg to differ because I think this little guy is very cute. You know, outside of those piercing teeth, wide mouth, saggy skin, and I guess like the light on top, like why do you have a light on your head? How is that even possible? You know, it's actually kind of cute. It, it's And look at his little baby head. Just imagine it has a closed mouth. Like just put like a little bag or like a mask. Let's imagine this was during COVID. He wouldn't be too bad, right? It looks like a little blowfish. There he is, an anglerfish. He's not too bad. It's like, you know, my friend over there thinks you're cute. It's like, all right, what does he look like? 
All right, so something that nobody should ever look up is your own name. So if you search up your own name, you're gonna probably find things on here that you don't wanna see. So for instance, if you look up Sambucha, you have my YouTube channel. I'm very surprised, like what is Sambucha with an accent, YouTuber, but apparently I have songs called Olhes Negros, Nom Vai, like I don't speak the language. What is this, Portuguese, Portuguese? I don't speak it. My Instagram pops up, Sambucha, lol, go follow. Some pictures of when I was on my friend's bachelor party. I don't know how they get these things. Let's see what people are looking up. Sambucha age, Sambucha height, Sambucha YouTube, my real name, Sambucha food. I don't got food. Abs, merch, ethnicity. You'll never know. Maybe I'll make one of those uh, videos where it's like answers the web's most searched questions and it's me and I'm pulling them off. So just drop some questions in the comments and maybe I'll make an actual whole video dedicated to answering some of the most pressing questions of our times relating to myself. But let me know. I mean, I'm, I'm, I post everything. I have like 2000 videos. I'm a public figure, so I don't really care if there's stuff on me, but don't look yourself up because it could get scary. Something you should also never look up is what should I be insecure about? Because people are going to point out all of your insecurities. So let's look at the top insecurities and let's see if we have them. All right. So let's take a look. Body image, social insecurity. So are you lame? Job security. So are you unemployed? Okay. Too much perfectionism. I th always think that's the funniest thing. Like people oh, like point out a flaw. Like, oh, I work too hard. I'm too perfect. If you're ever in an interview and somebody says like, what's like, what's a flaw of yours? Just don't say that. Just if you're going to pick a flaw, just say like, oh, like I, I don't know, like I watch Sambucha videos. They'd be like, oh, that's a deal breaker. But don't say the perfectionism thing. All right. So another thing you shouldn't look up is disgusting things that people allegedly found in their fast food. Now I've once, this is not a lie. And I wish I had a photo. I actually may have a photo. I'll search around for it. I'll see if I still have it. But there's a picture that I took. I was at a KFC around Union Square in New York City. And I ordered a bucket of eight chicken legs. And on one of the chickens, I kid you not, fried into the chicken, the DNA of the food. There was not one, not two, not even three, but four pieces of long hair fried into the chicken in the breading. And how did I find that out? I took a bite and in my mouth was four employees hairs that weren't wearing hair nuts from the KFC that I guess shed into the oil, fried it into the chicken and then served it to me. So I reached out to KFC and I asked them, hey, KFC, is this normal practice? No, I didn't say that. I basically said, I want my money back because I didn't order fried hair, I ordered fried chicken. And what did they say? Oh, sorry, you don't have the receipt because I threw it out because who keeps the receipt? And they said, the most we can do for you is provide you with a coupon. And do you know what the coupon was for? It was for eight pieces of chicken leg. I don't want chicken leg. I just ate fried chicken leg. Know what I want from you? I want a settlement. I wanted $10,000 for what I had to go through. And instead they gave me a coupon. That's just something about KFC before we get into this. All right, so it doesn't look like we have any photos here, but I do want to find some photos. Yeah, so if you look this up, I mean, you'll see that this is like uh, like poop and you'll, you know, you'll see, ah, that's disgusting. <laughs> is that maggots? See? Like, this is literally what my chicken looked like. Strands of hair just everywhere. Maggots. Yeah, don't look this stuff up because it's going to make you hate your food. Another thing you shouldn't look up is how your chicken nuggets are made. Because what you're going to find is this pink slime and all this gross stuff. But at the end of the day, does it really matter? I mean, like, I'll still eat it, right? This is meant to turn people off, but whatever. It looks like the filling of a chicken nugget. You bread that baby up. You just know that there's no beaks. It's chicken, right? It tastes good. We'll take it. Make it spicy. Throw some barbecue sauce on it. So there used to be this fake sludge thing that people said this is how your chicken nuggets are made, but that was debunked. And then McDonald's, I guess, released this. They're like, no, this is how it's made. People are like, not much better, but we'll take it. One thing you should not look up is Bohemian Grove, though, which belongs to a San Francisco based gentleman's club. Uh, and it's basically a place that hosts the most prominent men in the world. And apparently a lot goes on here. There's lots of documentaries about or a lot of famous people, Ronald Reagan, Richard Nixon, a lot of the presidents, right? The royal families, they come over. They do a lot of different things here. So the Manhattan project where Robert Oppenheimer developed the atomic bomb was held at Bohemian Grove. If you are curious what it looks like, here it is. The secretive retreat visited by Clarence Thomas, who if you don't know who that is, he is one of the justices on the Supreme Court. And it, right, looks pretty crazy there. Doesn't look like a place that I'd want to send my kids. Doesn't look like a very fun camp, so to speak. But that's where it is in California, Bohemian Grove. There we have it. Another thing they say not to Google is Google. So if you're on Google and you Google Google, they said just don't do it because like every time you do it, a developer at Google just laughs at you. They're just, they're they're like, why would you search that up? I think, and I could be wrong, and I'm actually making this up completely right now, but it probably makes sense because I'm saying it with confidence. The most searched thing on Google is Google. Okay, it's YouTube. Next is 
Amazon, Facebook, Weather, Google. So Google is top five. So people are searching Google, but that's crazy. YouTube, where you're watching this video, people are looking at, let me know if you found YouTube to watch this video through Google. If you typed in YouTube, got to me, etc. Some other things you should never look up is power normal that's videos, because because if you're home alone because and you have a sensitivity to that. ghosts Bing. and the poltergeist, what you may end up doing is scaring yourself by looking at these, in many cases, fake videos of ghosts and other things floating around. So here's a lot of testimonies. You're going to convince yourself it's true. You're going to swear it's true, but none of it's true. Though, and I've said this before, I'm sure we have the picture. I say it every time. I actually take all that back because I've met a real ghost before. I've taken a picture. I have photographed a real ghost before. I will put it on screen. Take your pictures of it. This is an actual ghost. Ghost. You could see it as clear as day. And you could even see it's not just like the, the camera, the flash did some random thing because that person does not look like anybody that's in that photo. So I've seen a ghost before. It wasn't scary. It was cool, you know, and I haven't been haunted, I think, over the past half year, half of my life, 14 years. So I think it's cool, but you might get scared. So don't look it up. Another thing you shouldn't look up under any circumstances as well is your email. Because if you look up your email, you're probably going to find certain websites that you're unhappy with being linked to. You're not going to understand how to unlink it. And you're just going to have a ton of anxiety around trying to unlink subscribe to it, etc. So you just have to accept once you're on the internet, your data is sold to a bunch of people. We had this issue with Facebook when they sold it to Boston Analytics, whatever that company was called. Everybody does it. TikTok has your data. Google has your data. It's just how things go nowadays. You just have to accept it. Just the price of being online. All right. So one book that you should never look up and don't even type this into Google. I'm just on Wikipedia here is the Anarchist Cookbook. So basically what this book is, is it's a cookbook that lets you figure out the recipes for certain uh, illicit drinks freaking devices, weapons, uh, and a lot of other things that should never really be made. And so there's no need to ever look up the cookbook for said recipes. But there's actually, I mean, a guy, I guess in 1971, by the name of William Powell <laughs> invented this. And it also says inside how to throw him a lot of cocktail, how to make this is something you shouldn't get your hands on and you probably also should just never search it. It's a cool book. It's a cool concept. There's actually a film as well called The Anarchist Cookbook uh, with nobody in it. Doesn't look like it did super well either. It did $14,000 at the box office with a $2 million budget. All right, so that's a, it's a rom-com too. So there's that. Another thing you shouldn't look too much into is the Food Defect Levels Handbook because you're probably gonna be surprised when you look at some of your favorite foods and find that they're not as regulated as you think and that they actually let a lot of things slide. In that same vein, when you're asleep, you probably eat 12 spiders over the course of your lifetime. I'm sure we've all seen that stat. Don't look it up though because it may or may not be true and I want everybody to think that because I think that's funny. And lastly, the final thing that nobody should ever look up and really ever because this stuff's weird, Tetris fan fiction or just in general any fan fiction I would just stay away from it. I've seen fan fiction on myself before, and it's just like, eh. I think it's, it's cool, but it's just Tetris. It's blocks. It's inanimate objects. What is there to write about? This person says, oh, the blocks ask themselves if they're the right size. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more content, make sure to click here, click here. Otherwise, subscribe on your way out, and I will see you next time. Peace.